You know, it's Joe Jaguar. Angelus. And today, I am going to show Angelus something huge. She has never seen my six inch before or ever. Yeah. Because by the time we met, I already had put him away. So today is going to be the first day I'm going to show it to her. And babe. I want the love it. Well, you you might be a little scared once you see it. Oh my god. It's a little big. Okay. Okay, so I am gonna go downstairs and get my six inch ready and then you come down with the camera once I call you. Okay. okay. Hi guys, I'm waiting and right now Joe let me know when I can get in into the room and see the six inch. Okay. And cut oh <laughs> What do you think, babe? Is that big or what? It's big. And it's black. <laughs> so, you know what? It's a little heavy. Let me put it down. It's, so It's big. Well, I'm glad so, you like it. It's almost the, the whole size of the bed. Now, I'm going to show you the one that we took up to the oh, uh, tenting. Or can, whatever. It's the cat cat ass for the cats. So, this is the 4-inch. Okay. Let's compare it. Yeah, so this is the four inch we brought to the cottage, and this is the six inch. Wow, but I don't, I don't think so, like it's just two inches less. This is much, much more, no? Ah, uh, uh, baby, that's funny. Okay, babe, it's not how long it is, uh. it's how thick it is. So this is a four inch thick telescope. This is a six inch telescope. Wow. So it doesn't mean two inches length. But I feel like I think so it's two inches thicker. I, it looks like... Just thicker. I, it looks like much bigger. No, it's, it's a four inch and a six inch. That's it. So the thicker it is, the deeper it can go in the sky. It can ah. go deeper in the sky. You see what I mean? <laughs> okay, so edges. Now, we are going to either, do you want to look through, observe through the six inch, or do you want to observe through my Takahashi 4-inch? So it's a little smaller, but it's better quality. Or do you want something bigger? Now, which one do you want to observe with tonight? Mm, very tempting. What is better, size or, or quality? Mm, I don't know. Um, you tell me. Okay. okay, so what do you think? Which one do you want to observe with tonight? Jupiter and Saturn and the moon. The six inch or the four? Well, the thing is that it's misleading because always they say that bigger is better, but sometimes the smaller is the more quality. I don't know. Sometimes quality counts, even yeah. if it's smaller. It's but what do you think? Which one do you want to observe it tonight? Um, what about both? Both? Oh my God, you want to, you want to do both of them? Yes. That's a lot of work. Okay, so take a look at now the moon through the six inch now, instead of the four inch Takahashi. Tell me if it looks pretty good to you there. Actually, it looks almost the same, no? Actually, yes, you know what, that's a, that's a good point. Okay, because, because this one is longer, has more focal length, I got a weaker eyepiece on here. And that one, because it's shorter, I got a little bit stronger eyepiece, but they're almost the same power. Ah, okay. So, yes, so, so like, almost like the same. Yeah, well, right. So we got it. We're testing it to see about the same power. But yes, because I got uh, almost the same power on each, they'll look about the same size. Mm -hmm. If I would use this eyepiece on there, then it would be smaller because it has a smaller uh, focal ratio and oh, focal length. But good point. A lot of people don't understand that too. So I have a 56 millimeter eyepiece on here and only a 32 millimeter on here. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna take a look at the moon first. Okay. And, and I'll do this guy, the six inch. What do you think? Okay. And remember, speak up. Wait, what did, what did you can see the craters and like, the craters and the mountains and Okay, good question. A lot of people don't understand. Okay, so when, okay, say when the moon is straight ahead and the sun is setting, the sunshine is hitting sideways to the moon. So that's why it's only like a quarter moon, half moon. Does that make sense? So right now, the sun is on the other side of the earth and it's almost facing the whole sunshine almost. It's two days before the full moon, so you're looking at it straight on. So it's kind of show you guys, but it's kind of like if you were to look down on something on the floor, like a cup, let's say, and you're looking directly, you're not seeing the side of the cup. So you're not seeing the depth. You're only looking and you're seeing a circle. That's it. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So that's why it's because the sun is opposite the moon and it's, it's we're, we're looking so the only time you see the craters is when it's like the shadow moon, like, yeah. yeah like when the shadow is there so because it's almost full moon there's a little bit if you look on yours at the there's still two days before the full moon there's a little bit you could see mountains on the edge but yes the rest of it is just kind of washed out then it's better to watch it when it's not really full moon yeah yeah exactly okay babe so let's um go on jupiter we we'll just go low power for now. Okay, take a look at the Takahashi at Jupiter. And let me find Jupiter in this guy. So you can look at low power Jupiter there and mm -hmm. take a look at Jupiter low power here. Yeah, kind of like a little. Yeah, yeah like a little. Did you see the comet that went by? Yeah, last week. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. Nice? Uh, well, you couldn't see it with the eye. No, no, no I know that. But yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I tried to look for it because you said you, should, you could see it at one point, but I, I no, even even at its brightest, uh, what happened was because they're talking about country skies, you could yeah. see it with your eye. Yeah. But since we're in heavy light yeah. polluted, I couldn't see it until I put binoculars to it. Oh wow! Yeah, but that's yeah, you know, that's how it is when you live in a big city. Oh. Yeah, I see somebody last night had a drone over here flying around. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a video of it. Here. Up over here and had a great big light on it and everything. Well, I thought it was a UFO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. Okay, man, take care. Anyway, so Jupiter looks okay. So let's go. Okay, so let's go on high power on Jupiter. Yeah. And. Um, okay, so this is high power. Mm -hmm. And I can see the two main belts. You can see four of Jupiter's moons. I can even see like four bands instead of just two. Okay. And one of the best things in the sky is of course Saturn. Okay, take a look at Saturn. See the rings there. You can see one moon to the side. Okay, take a look at it in the six inch. Tell me what you think. Now remember two, Jupiter and Saturn are actually the last, this year and the last two or three years and the next two years are as one of its lowest in the sky. So the higher they are in the sky, the more detail you will see. Hey guys, so as you've seen, uh, we've done five or six videos in my backyard in the night, of course. So. Uh, we're telling you what we see and how we see it type of thing. Now just figure it out uh, because it's dark, you're actually not gonna see us very well, of course. So I just figured out when I'm editing the final version before I post it, I can make the saturation and the exposure a lot more. So it's still dark for us, but you'll see us. So after these two clips, as you will see, it's much brighter um, and the next video is going forward. Anything I do in the dark, I'll do that at the very end so you can see us. Okay, babe, so there you go. So there is 
your four inch Takahashi against the six inch Skywatcher Apple Chromatic. What did you think looking at the Moon, Jupiter, and Saturn? Actually pretty good. I really like it guys because for being a four inch uh, telescope, actually it's, it's almost the same as it was this one big. Because maybe it's the, it's the brand name that is the, the Takahashi. Takahashi? Yeah. Uh, it's very good quality. It can compete with the six inch that is much bigger. Right, right. But well, I don't know, is another one that is not Takahashi will be the same? No, it probably once you start going higher power higher power and then higher the image starts to get fuzzier fuzzier because it just can't so usually the top name brands they just look more clearer the higher up you go oh, okay uh, no, you know, but it looks amazing what i mean we, we took it up to about um 250 power which is not extreme high but um you know it's fairly high uh i would say for looking at the planets uh, um, well if you can get to a minimum 175 to about 200 is a comfortable if you can go up to 250 even better but sometimes it breaks down after about 200 power again because remember the planets are very low yeah. come after three years they're going to be well not as high as that star altar mm -hmm. but halfway between them and that star so it'll be less atmosphere three years yeah it takes so long like going up yeah because one yeah because next year might just be an inch more than an inch more than, you know, but I'm just saying, usually if they're higher up, the higher anything is uh, up in the sky, the less atmosphere you look through, so the better it'll look. The, anything lower in the atmosphere, you're looking, or lower in the sky, you're looking through more atmosphere. Yeah. So it's gonna be more fuzzier, you're looking through more haze. Yeah, and we're competing with the lights. <laughs> that should, well, I mean, that will just cast a glare on us yeah. in it, but it won't make the quality of the planet any sharper. Okay. Yeah. So it's just it's it's very low th these last few years. So we have to wait at least three years for it to be higher up, and then it'll probably be twenty five percent better. And when maybe the planets are a little bit closer to uh, you know its orbit, but you know at least whatever you got to make do with what you can. Yeah. And that's what they are this year. So. Oh, but they're nice. They're nice. Okay, guys. Cheers. So ho hopefully you guys uh, like that. Angelus does not do. Uh, well, you might have seen now a couple of videos, her looking at the sun uh, twice with the solar scope. Actually, let's go inside for a second. Um, okay, here we go. Turn it around. Okay, guys, as you guys know, um, usually I do astro stuff, and then we do more funner stuff. Funner, if that's a word. Yeah. Anyway, but as you guys saw lately, uh, she's done a couple astro stuff with me, like the looking at the sun two times. And I can't remember, maybe there's another one or so, but... Um, the Neo Wise, well, I was there, but no, we were not, you didn't... Oh, the Neo Wise, you were there yeah, together, yeah, but, but, but you didn't do the video. The video with us together, right. So this time, uh, hopefully you guys like that uh, you got someone else to uh, tag along with me doing the Astro stuff. So this is Angelus looking through a four inch Takahashi and then looking uh, at a six inch apple chromatic and as you saw um nice you know sometimes yes bigger is better but be you know sometimes quality counts uh, a good quality smaller one sometimes is on par with a much larger one or at least sometimes can even beat it yeah. so that's uh, our video for today we will see you guys on the next video cheers joe jaguar angeles out and don't forget subscribe like us and comment. And if you don't, we're not going to do any more. I mean, nah, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see you guys next one. Thank you, guys.